registered. Oh, look, the little baby. And there's a the little girl. Oh, it's so cute. Hi, mamas. She got tags. She got tail dock. <laughs> she got her clostridia shot. All right, we're back again. Round two, round three with Zane. This is going to be a video about lambs. Aren't they dorpers? Are these the dorpers? These are the dorpers. These are dorpers. These I got it dorper right. Lambs. So there's a video on my page already of these, um, but they're just lambing right now. Um, so we'll show you some mamas with some babies. We won't have that many this year. We only had 24, 23 lambs. This is the most current one we have. She's so cute. Look She's at her. She's just a little girl. Oh, she just, look at that. And there's mom. They, she is, okay, give me a second. She had her last Saturday. Oh, so she she's only like almost a, a full week, week old. Wow. Quite. Almost a full week. The rest of my lambs are out here. When we do our lambs. And this is actually old calf hutches. We oh, that makes sense over. actually, yeah. We put the sheep in them and it's nice because that way I can I keep the mom and the lamb together for sure for at least two weeks. That way the lambs get enough colostrum from mom, and it's get mom's getting enough. Um, I give her straight alfalfa, a little bit of corn. That way she's getting some energy and good protein mm -hmm. in her diet, and then I can kind of watch them and you know kind of protect them. But uh, afterwards, I turn them loose after about three to four weeks. I turn them loose so they can all kind of come together and they get to play with each other and get to figure it out. That's a fun first two days, all the bellowing and screaming, who's mom, whose kid is whose, and we put them in here. We don't really have a coyote problem. I've kind of eliminated some of that, but <laughs> oh, I will. With out. lethal force. <laughs> I'll come out here and shoot them sometimes, but we haven't, thank God we haven't had the coyotes in a long time, but they're safe in here. I mean. Yeah, they look safe. Good spot, nothing can really get to them. I mean, there's nice. I'll come out here with a rifle and watch for coyotes and call them in just on purpose to see if I can get rid of them. Can't stop a nuisance unless you put a stop to it. <laughs> exactly. I'll let, them, I'll let them pass you. Okay, perfect. Heard the kids and their mom. There's one I want to look at. Oh, she, so sheep have to have um, a certain amount of selenium in their diet. Where do and, they get uh, that from? Well, we give them a, a shot of selenium. Selenium, zinc, some of your other, other minerals and metals that you need in your body. Sheep and goats, I believe, are the two that really need the selenium. So, well, we'll often give them like a trace supplement, like a trace mineral block that has selenium in it. But uh, when they're young like this, a lot of times the selenium deficiency that we'll have in them is they can't stand up, they can't run very well. They're not fully developed, like able to run and play. But, uh, and she's getting better. I gave her a shot the other day. After I put uh, tags on her and doctor tails. She's getting better. And that's the thing, if you don't catch it fast, you'll lose them. They'll die. They'll be dead within a couple of days. And that's why I'm so adamant on staying on top of shots, staying on top of my lambs, making sure everybody's doing okay. Otherwise, you're just kind of throwing them out the wind and just kind of hoping they win, they, they win the game, but they usually don't. Yeah. But be careful with them. Oh, also, when is typically lambing season? Um, yeah, I'm, I think it's varies across everybody yeah for you guys for, oh for yeah. us it's about usually early january early january through about march so we're kind of slowing down now i think we'll have use left to, to have their lambs but other than that it's been pretty good is that one still pregnant yeah that one's still pregnant oh found her let's i'll show you she looks like a barrel with legs <laughs> She's, She's a fatty. There. She's a big girl. So yeah. Gotcha. That one is in. No, right? She, she is. She, she oh. Go? Oh, she's in the middle. 
She's the middle one. She's There's big. a fat one right out there. Yep, right there. Shoddy a little fatty. Having twins. We've had a lot of twins. Right there. Um, this year we actually had it all at once. It was awesome. So it what's the really usual awesome. for lambs? The usual is usually one or two. Sometimes three. Three's, mm -hmm. three's awesome, but four is pretty rare. Four I've is never like seen lot. four yeah. out, of a sh out of a sheep or a goat. So that was the first time. I've got some pictures of that. Quadruplets. And all four of them are still alive. Wow. They're doing very well. That's a feat, right? Yeah. I think it's a feat. Because normally, like, I, I don't know if it was lambs or sheep, but they, some of them just get really aggressive. Oh, well, there's nursing. one. Nursing. Wiggling their tail. It's like a little yeah, dog. It's I'm waiting funny. for it. Oh, mama's not having it. She knows she's on camera. So, the more you know about lambs. Dorper lambs, so they're primarily meat. They're, yeah, right? they're a meat variety. Yeah. Um, they don't really have wool. They kind of shed their wool naturally. There's not that many breeds that do that. And I think they're one of very few. So, that's really nice. We don't have to shear. Mm -hmm. I don't like shearing. It's, it's a lot of work. If you're good at it, great. God bless you. God bless. That's a lot of work. <laughs> It's holding them down and trying to get it all off of them. I'm just, I can do it. I did it in yeah. high school, um, but it's not something I look forward to. I don't like being covered in wool. Yeah. Poop. So Dorpers, Dorpers are meat goats. Are really good. They're great. They're small. Not goats. Why did I say goats? They're lambs. <laughs> Same thing. They're close. They're ruminant. They're like a cow. Like a cow. But they make an excellent shape for small acreage. Um, we actually raise a lot of them for... Uh, some of the hop operations over there in Boise area. Oh, that's right. The guys I think you them. covered that in our last video. They, they go and graze on them. They go and graze on the hops. Mm -hmm. they, that's a, it's a sustainable, <laughs> organic way of controlling the weeds. Meat goats are great to weed suppression. Even the not meat goats. The wool goat. Why do I keep goat. saying goats? Oh no, my gosh, it is time goat. to go to bed. It's right. They'll eat just about anything. <clears throat> so, that's the more the you know... We don't have that many this year. I think really think there's 20, I think there's 20 lambs total. Yeah, there's not too many because when I came back last time, there was quite a few. We had quite a few. Yeah. We so just, they all got shipped up to Boise? Yeah, a lot of them got shipped. We have a, our one pen came back from Boise. Um, we actually turned our rams loose with them this fall. Oh, okay. That way they, we have a lot of pregnant ewes to send back over. Yeah, how long is their gestation period? Um, what is a sheep? A sheep or a lamb, or is there a difference? Are they, are they the, the same? A lamb is just a baby sheep. That's all that is. Sheep or... That's right. Yeah, the sheep. This is the sheep. They're the family of the animals. That's right. They're a, a species of ruminant. I don't remember yeah. how the whole kingdom thing works. I have to go back and do my homework on that. But no, your lambs are your, your babies. Um, weathers are a castrated ram. Okay, so rams are the boys, weathers are the castrated boys, mm -hmm. so they're the steers, they're basically. The steers of the sheep. Bull. And then ewes are the mamas. Ewes are the moms. Ewe lambs are like a heifer. Like a heifer. So they pretty much just call you. And then we have the rams. I've heard guys call them bucks, but I'm pretty sure they're called rams. And that's yeah. your male with... Buck sounds more like the mountain sheep kind of thing, you know? Yeah. Like it, the bucks with the horns. Yeah. I, I always thought it was more of a goat thing. But yeah. I could be wrong. I mean, I don't know everything, but... Oh, wow. We do have the rams. We have quite a few rams now. I think we've got eight rams. We've got five registered and a couple that aren't registered. In fact, speaking of registered, this is our registered herd here. Registered and what does it mean herd. to be registered? They go through some USDA approved paper saying, congratulations, your herd is registered. Bada there's bada quite a bit of, there's a little <laughs> bit more to that, but that's kind of the gist of it. Yeah. Like, this is a pure bloodline. Um, they have been crossbred with anything. That's your register. I mean, for the most part. Yeah. It can go into more Just detail, so you know. more depth, but that's the basics of it. You got a piece of paper that says, yeah, my herd's registered. Pure blood. Bloodline's mm -hmm. perfect. There's one. Yeah. Perfect. So that is what lambing is like. And I don't think we probably missed a little bit, but. No, it's for the most part. They get like, their shots. They get so their mama shots lambs, after, they get their shots. Yeah, we give them a shot after a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. um, Clostridia is our big shot. We will give a tetanus. Um, they get dot, their tails dot. Te sheep don't need a tail. And it's the weirdest thing, their tails. They get in the way during breeding. Mm -hmm. They get nasty. Sometimes they'll lose them. They'll just get, like, caught in something, and they'll just rip it off. 
There's not much muscle in their in their in their tails. Reminds me of a rock tuck. I was like, They're I picked up a funny. rock tuck one day and the tail just fell off, and I was horrified because it just whoop, it no, was gone. Just, yeah, they don't really serve much of a purpose. And I'm surprised over the what a thousand years that we've had sheep, a couple thousand that they haven't just that they naturally haven't evolved just off. naturally evolved off. Because wild sheep, like your bighorn sheep, they don't have a tail. At least I've never seen a tail. Huh. And I've been around a few of them, so they have more like natural predators, though, right? So that might have. It might just, might have bumped up the natural selection there, but I don't know. I could be totally wrong there. I was never good in biology. That's not biology. Is it biology? That is um, biology that you yes, learn natural selection and yes, and the whole Darwin Finch whole Darwinism stuff. So survival of the fittest. Out That's here? right. Survival of the fittest. So with help all right. from me. Exactly. <laughs> survival of the fittest with help from Zane. <laughs> So that, I think, is all we have on lambing. Thanks, Thanks for watching. Right. Thanks, Thank Zane, you. for your help. Great right. resource. So we will chop it here. Uh, make sure you catch me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. It's all linked. Just go check it out. Thanks, guys.